Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. I have week 38 process video of my 2020 Project Life album. I am using the Studio Calico Documenter Kit and I have printed all my photos out using my Epson PM400 printer. I do use an app on my phone to get these 3x4 photos um, side by side and then I use the Epson app to print borders on all of these photos. Now I do batch print and then I put the dates on all of the photos so I can put them in semi chronological order and usually I put the 4x6 photos where the 4x6 photos go and 3x4s all my portrait um, photos go in the little 3x4 areas and if I have more space then I'll use or a longer story I'll put the 3x4 photo in a 4x6 slot and use it that way. Now I do end up moving things around as you can see here to try to get all my photos to fit. I usually count how many um, 4 by 6 photos I have and how many 3 by 4 photos I have. Now I did print out the 3 by 4 of the 2000 deaths. Um, I did print that landscape because I knew I wanted to put that in a 4 by 6 spot. So I'm going through the 3 by 4 journaling cards and the left hand side 3 by 4 card is always my title card where I put the which week number it is, but I forgot to do it again this week. Ugh. So I will go back and do that. Um, I'm going through the different cards to see where I want to do journaling cards and where I want to have filler cards. So because I know where where I want to, or which photos I need to have more journaling for. So I do go through all of these. I do like the colors of the cards to be balanced as well as functional. So I'm working on the left hand side of this photo and it's the photo of my third son. He's out in the backyard doing hydro painting. Hydro painting? Yeah. He learned this off of his brothers who learned it from YouTube. It's where you get a bin of water and you spray spray paint into the water and then you dip something plastic in there and then it comes out um, a certain kind of a design comes out on the plastic and you let that dry. So I wrote Uni painted or Uni wanted to hydro paint his Nerf gun. Thank you YouTube. So I'm using a Stabilo dark gray pen. I do like to journal in dark gray because it's not as dark as black yet it's still easily readable. So I do um, label that and these are labels from the print and cut from the Studio Calico website. They have them to match the documentary kit perfectly. So I'm going ahead and adhering that down and I use my tiny attacher to attach the label to the photo. Now here's a picture of my daughter practicing her dance and I just happened to catch it right at the perfect spot. Isn't that a great photo? And I turned it black and white. So I love that photo of her practicing. So I do want to use a chipboard and I do end up using the arrow that says good stuff and I put that down on the bottom right hand corner. I do date stamp all of my photos so I'm going to date stamp um, using the stays on ink with the one canoe two roller date stamp and I ended up messing that up so I took off the label you can see here I'm struggling with that because I do use the Kokuyo adhesive to adhere that down and I'm taking the staples off and I'm going to try to put another label on there to fix that and this label fits on there perfectly but it won't be off the side of the photo which is fine you just make do with what you got and so I'm going to do the journaling again and date stamp this correctly this time. Usually I don't concern myself too much with um, stamping errors like if, it's, if they're not perfect because I am making this by myself. I don't expect this to look professional grade if you know what I mean. So I do go ahead and tiny, uh, tiny attacher. I use my tiny attacher to adhere that label down. I put this good stuff journaling uh, chipboard down and I do stamp the date on it and I don't mind black on black because if you look closely you can see the date stamp. Although with my bad eyes, I can't see them as much. I did take a screenshot of the weather app because in San Diego, we usually have good air quality, but on this particular day, the air quality was really bad. Now here's a photo of my G7X camera and I journal on it and I'm gonna use a stamp set that says crap. And I think this is from Kelly Winnell stamp and it's the crap um, stamp set. If it's still available, I will go ahead and link it down below, but I don't know that she carries older stamps. So I am going to use my, the crap stamp, <laughs> and I'm going to use my stays on ink. Oh, I'm using a white eraser to get all the debris off, because if you get the debris off, it stamps much cleaner. And so I'm using my 
stays on ink and it came out great. That doesn't always happen for me. And I do use the stamp chamois to clean off the stamp. Then there's also a stamp that says today sucked in that same stamp set. And I'm going to take that stamp and stamp that on top of the journaling card that I have out right there. You can see that I do take the white eraser to clean that off and I'm using my stays on ink for this as well. So once I uh, stamp today sucked, I'm going to journal. And on the journaling, I wrote, after I recorded one of my beauty videos, the kids and I were talking while I was dismantling my camera and dropped it. Damn. And it broke. I hate it when I make stupid mistakes that are so costly. Ugh. I was so frustrated because I do record every day, whether that be a scrapbooking video or a beauty video. So I need my camera. I mean, it's a workhorse. I use it all the time. My DSLR doesn't have a viewfinder that can come out, so I can't use my DSLR to record because I can't see what I'm doing. So I do use this G7X for all of my recording, and this camera was not cheap when I purchased it. Luckily, I was able to take it into the Photoshop, and the, they contacted, or they sent it to Canon, and Canon sent me a refurbished one that was even the newer model so that ended up working out great so there's this photo of my boys on their bikes and I do put a chipboard that says these are the days on the top portion and the reason I took a picture of this is because this is the first time that I let the boys ride their bikes to the park so it's outside of our outside of our gated community but they need to cross the street that is super fast people drive on there super fast like 40 to 50 miles per hour so I always get nervous letting them do it but I also realize I have to let them learn to be independent so I journal that and on this picture of my daughter dancing my son is trying to dance with her it's so funny and he can't lift his leg at all and I'm putting a chipboard that says all that matters is that I tried and I think that is so funny and I'm just going to put that chipboard in the middle of that photo and date stamp that and I'll call this part done. Then I'm going to move over to the right hand side of my photo. Oh no no no. I'm going to stamp one more thing. I'm going to use that in the park or at the park stamp set from Studio Calico and it is the stamp that says at the park in the middle there, I'm trying to get that to focus and it's not focusing. So it is the Studio Calico at the park. I'm making a note to myself so that I remember for when I record so I can link the products down below if they are available. So I'm using the one that says at the park. I'm using a white eraser to get the debris off and I'm using my stays on ink and I'm going to ink that onto the photo of the boys going to the park. And I apologize that my layout is off off camera. I forget to look up when I'm recording because I get in a groove and I'll do weeks at a time and I forget to look up to make sure I'm still in frame. So this September plastic circle is from the Studio Calico kit. It comes every month. So I always have it come off the photo and I cut off the top portion of the kit and it's of my boys gaming of course. Then I'm using, or no, it's of my boys either gaming or doing schoolwork. So I am using the stamp set from Studio Calico and it's about distance learning and I stamped the circle that says ready for distance learning and I checked to see if it's going to fit right on my gray sofa right there and I tried to stamp that using the stays on ink and it doesn't end up coming out right so what I do end up doing is stamping that onto you can see there because <laughs> I had re-inked it earlier and so some of my other stamps came out really good but fine detail stamping does not work very well with the stays on ink. So I end up getting the VersaFine ink pad or actually I guess I use the stays on ink pad but usually I get the VersaFine ink pad. I stamp that onto white cardstock and I'm going to use my mini snips to cut around the circle and I'm going to after I do that I'm going to pop that up using um, a Stampin' Up foam adhesive to pop that up in the circle and just cover up the mistake that I made. I love it when I can cover up mistakes instead of having to reprint the photo, which I've done numerous times. But I also don't expect everything to be perfect like I said earlier. This is a homemade project. It's not expected to look professional. That's why my handwriting, even though I don't love it, is on there. Plus it's hard to get these 3x4 cardstocks 
um, into the We Are Memory Keepers typewriter typecast. Okay, we got these gold acrylic stars, so I put that on top of the journaling card that says these are the days. I'm also taking a stamp set that says together. It's from the Ali Edwards Story Kit stamp, and this is a subscription-based um, subscription based stamp kit and uh, Project Life kit, or I guess it's just a kit, story kit. And so I got the stamp set that that says together and I stamp that using the stays on ink with my daughter and her cousin and they're doing fake nails <laughs> such a girl thing to do right my daughter doesn't usually have a lot of girls around so when there's a girl cousin around she takes full advantage of all of that okay I am date stamping using the roll roller date stamp that's from one canoe two and on this pink polka dot cardstock I'm using the Ruth Bader Ginsburg stamp set that I purchased from the Ink Road. If this is available, I will go ahead and link it down below. But I end up using the stamp that says women belong in all places where decisions are made. And I use the stays on ink pad to go ahead and stamp that to the top of that journaling card. Then I'm also going to use the stamp that says ruthless since 1933. And I'm going to stamp that on the bottom of that journaling card. And I do clean that off with my white eraser. I don't know why I didn't use my VersaFine ink because I usually do use that for detail stamping. But it ended up working with the stays on ink. It's just not working on my photo paper. So then I'm going to use the alphas that came with this kit. And I'm going to spell R-I-P. And then I'm going to put the date that she actually passed away. The photo of her that I have on here, I did a screenshot from online somewhere because I think it's so important for all of us to remember what she's done for women and not take it for granted that she was such a pioneer for women's rights. So after I do that I am going to be looking at um, working on the screenshot I did of the 200,000 deaths for corona. I think that is so scary this world pandemic that we're going through and I just wanted to document that we're at 200,000 deaths in the US and that's super scary. This bottom photo is of my kids in the dark playing on their iPads together and I just took a photo from above and changed it to black and white because it was grainy and I'm doing black on black again and I love doing um, monotone colors so I do spell out the word love and put that on top of that photo but you can't really see it unless you are looking at this actually in real life. So then I date stamp that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use some other um, embellishments that came with the kit. I'm going to bring over the left-hand side of this layout so we can look at it together. And again, I apologize that we're off screen. I'm trying to fix that. Um, and so as we look at this, I'm going to put some other embellishments from the kit on because sometimes I don't remember to always do that. So I'm going and looking through the chipboards and I'm using the chipboard with the apples on it and putting it under the word September on the top. And then I'm going to start using some wood embellishments, the cameras. And I'm going to put that in five different places on this layout. I like to have three on the left and two on the right. And I just documented or pointed to the title card to remind me that I needed to put the week number there. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time.